Welcome back guys, I am running now the XFC 4, but not on the Pixel 9 Pro XL with the Android 16 Linux Terminal. Fun fact, I'm not using my Pixel 9 Pro XL with the Android 16 Linux Terminal, I'm using the HES25 Ultra, it's running on One UI 8 at the BYGD, one of the previous last internal test versions, Up, and now my connector is out, but guys, why am I doing this video? Because honestly, uh, this thing runs far better on DeX. And of course, also the S25 Ultra being a more powerful phone. And the implementation that I'm using right now is via Thermox and Thermox X11 API. This runs so much better than what I was able to test on my Pixel 9 Pro XL. Now, fun fact, because the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra runs on a Snapdragon chip, it's not yet able to utilize the new Android 16 Linux function or Linux terminal to start a VM because it requires an unprotected mode. So far, it's only being able to run on the Z Flip that has uh, the Exynos processor, which really isn't that good. But guys, I just wanted to do a short demo and show you how this thing works. And yeah, just having DEX on it is it's really much more usable uh, compared to the desktop mode that we now have and the Pixel phones from Android system, which is pretty basic. I'm still using here the uh, keyboard and the mouse that are only connected via a USB dongle. Now, all right, guys, to show you what I'm using here, if you don't believe me, okay, I'm just going to minimize this. And now you can see this is my old and good Samsung DeX environment. And let me just try to make this small so that you can see I can really do plenty of things, okay? So Samsung DeX, how do we know? All right, I have here everything. Um, all my apps that are docked here on the start uh, or many or dust bar. Of course, my camera is also here. Again, Samsung DeX now in its state is, uh, is a bit better than the standard desktop mode for Android 16 that I do believe is kind of still uh, <laughs> a test version, still better. But hey, you are really able to run this. So for me to able to be able to run this, I'm using Termux and Termux X11 there. Tons of scripts online that can show you really how you can do this. Uh, I'm not sure what I used lastly, but guys, why is this now better? And does it have some limitations? All right, it is, I do believe it is better because just the hardware is so much different. And I'm using it now here. So this is the Linux version. You can see I'm running, this is not Android 15. I am, my phone is on uh, One UI 8, which is Android 16, but this environment here, uh, the XFCE desktop runs on the Thermox, which has this version distributed is Thermox. The XFCE version is 4.20, and yeah, uh, the Windows system is X11 apparently. Now, guys, one of the main differences here, I'm able to use almost 11 gigabytes of RAM compared to the only four that I was able to get on my Pixel VM with the standard Linux Android 16 terminal mode and of course there are some other limitation here i'm using the llvm pipe all right versus the virgil okay so let me just show you guys you need to understand this so virgil isn't perfect but somehow provides an option for you to use your host gpu some kind of acceleration llvm pipe is a software open gel renderer which means that everything that we run right now is just purely based on on software but it running graphic operation on the host cpu the virgil that i'm able to get in my pixel phone with the Linux terminal is using a hardware accelerated solution that forwards graphics comments to the host GPU. So meaning from my Linux VM on my pixel phone directly to my phone. But guys, honestly, yeah, just by the way this thing runs, I can tell you it's, it's really so much faster, right? I can just show you, you know, it's just, just really faster. Everything really feels so smooth compared to um, what I have on my pixel. So I don't really care. So right now I'm just thinking if I want to go and do some fun or have some fun with a Linux VM uh, on my phone. I'm going to be using here the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra with Thermix because it's just it's just so much better. And by the way, everything works, included sound. All right, I'm just going to try to play a video for you. All right, so you can see sound this place here. Place all right, let me just try to go. I'm going to put 4K. I'm not even sure if this is going to be able to run, Good but for just guys. for the test. All right, so yeah, okay, you can see. So. 
we are able to even play 4K YouTube 60 FPS videos without a lot of issues. Uh, and I can just go here inside the applications. And if I go to system, there's gonna be a task manager. So this thing runs fairly, fairly good. All right, as you can see, CPU is almost not uh, uh, swamped and uh, okay the memory you can see i'm using 90 percent all right so i have almost like twice the size compared to the only 4g uh, that i was able to use on um, the pixel 9 pro excel and there are plenty of things of course you can pl do plenty of things now the way i started doom is uh, just like this i'm gonna start it for you so that you can see how it works i hope this is gonna start right now so i can just hit the enter boom we are now entering doom sound is working all the options, everything. All right, so let's just go and start a new game. So if you want to explore some old DOS games uh, and probably of course do plenty of other things, this is far better compared to the stability and also the productivity that I'm able to get on my Pixel 9 Pro XL. Now, by the way, very important guys, Termux X11 would randomly crash because of the uh, signal line like the phantom process killer so you need to go inside developers option and okay let me just go here search it's probably going to be in my history here disable child protest restrictions now this was off for me by default so i had to enable it and since i did this i'm running this like almost like for two hours no problem at all now how can you install um, if you want to do this right how can you install the uh, xfce so if you just want to type like this xfce install script i think there are plenty of scripts out there i'm not sure if, if i use this one probably not this one i'm not even sure but guys basically you just download termox and termox x11 and also termox x11 uh, api and then you just need to execute a script okay this is the script the moment you start executing this script you know the whole uh, menu is gonna start it's gonna do all the checks for you i'm not sure again if i use this or another one but i'm just probably gonna show this so you can see uh, i'm gonna start the script from here okay so let me just try to paste it and okay the moment you start do this see it's gonna tell you okay it's, you're running on android 16 this is the architecture termux uh, available storage so and, and then you just follow the instructions i do believe i used another one it wasn't that by the way i think i used another script but again there are multiple options so it might as well be that one i mean you can just see how quick this whole thing gets fired it's absolutely dope uh, I can go now inside a terminal and uh, just hit mark two. So I am able to run the benchmarks, but I wasn't really getting any data because again, here we're using the software render LLVM pipe um, compared to Virgil. But even without these guys, I think that the performance that I'm getting here, even with the software render, right? Using Termux and, and Termux X11, on my S25 Ultra is better compared to how it was on the Pixel. So, I mean, if you want to really try a full Linux distribution and, and mess around with this, then I do believe that you're now better set with the S25 Ultra with using Termux compared to um, using still the Android 16 uh, with the included new desktop mode and the Linux terminal. And again, if you want to just check open google search for termux xfc install script this is the one option i do believe this is the other option both of them are very good i think i'm running on this one i'm not sure but i do i think i'm running on this one and then you know from here you can install whatever you want all right i can just show you i, I installed the midnight commander and this runs fairly good i think i also have like neo fetch all right, so this is it, guys. It's running Android, all right, 16. This is the Linux kernel here. Let's try to install LibreOffice. All right, this is the command. All right, we have some warnings, but yeah, you can see how it goes, by the way. So now, of course, it will have to download it. Now, I want to do this together on the camera, so I want to see if this is going to work. Sometimes it's a hit and miss. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's not going to work, but okay, maybe now I'm going to be lucky. This is the end result. It seems that all the packages like base calc and etc. have been loaded there. So am I now able to start LibreOffice? I've now power cycled my desktop here. So if I go to Office, it's there. All right, I'm not sure if it's gonna run by the way. Let's better check it. Oh, LibreOffice community. Yeah, adding success. So you can see how it goes, right? And from here, I have the option to write a document. I think there are also the other options 
for excellent roll. So it's uh, very, very powerful, I think, if you want to play with this. Let's just try to open the draw here. And this is the draw. Libre office. Okay, draw. Yeah, everything works. And yeah, so it ain't that bad, as you see. And it really, really works faster compared on how I was getting it on my Pixel. And yes, one last thing I want to show you how you're able to install packages using PKG. All right, so PKG search. And if you put whatever you put, okay, you can see. I have this one, and now I'm gonna search for Tux, and we have um, the Super Tux card, which wasn't running before on my Pixel. So Super Tux card, I'm gonna start installing it here. Oh, it's you see, it's yeah, it's 600 megabytes, and it requires almost one G on my phone. Let's try to see if this thing is gonna work, and just try to show the gameplay if I'm able to run this because with using uh, the Pixel 9 Pro Excel with the Android 16 terminal and Virgil, I wasn't able to. I was able to start a game, but I wasn't able to run it. Let's see how it's gonna go here. I was able to install the game. It's Super Tux card. Let's see if this thing is gonna run. Oh my god! And it loads really so fast. It's loading. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, and now you can see, right? Uh, L uh, V M M pipe. It's not ideal, guys. So yeah, software acceleration. But there is, but I'm saying, but because there is a way to also get some kind of support for hardware uh, acceleration. Here, it's gonna run fairly good. I'm gonna show you one more time how quick this is. T X eleven start. Press the enter. Okay. Don't need to click there anything just gonna pop up here boom and now yeah i mean i'm already inside termox uh, with my environment one more example will be to try to install this lightweight spotify player so i'm just gonna press the command all right i'm not sure if this thing was able to get installed uh it's probably going to be yeah spotify qt and of course now you need to log in i'm not going to do this of course but you should be able to log in guys and hopefully it's going to work let's try to install gimp all right gimp is already the new version okay so i think that i have it then if it's installed if i go to graphics okay this is it but then uh pkg install raw therapy all right i'm gonna install this to be able just just to open a, a raw file and we're gonna be doing the same test so let's check something beautiful all right this one is cool fujifilm all right let's just go here let's try to download it raw image download yep you can see game open it directly with raw therapy so now this is the image uh, all right yeah oh this thing works which is very very nice by the way if i go here in the picture i'm able to yeah this didn't really work also on my pixel so let's just go and let's try to see highlights yeah highlights correction let's go and check some shadows all right yep pumping the shadows pumping the highlights tonic for Liza. let's go and do the blacks all right only blacks it works and it works in a very good way guys and again i'm not saying this is now a good solution not very powerful because of the uh, gpu acceleration which i do believe can be still fixed uh, we just need to read around there are some ways to get some kind of acceleration there but guys this has been the s25 ultra this is termux and i'm using on top of my termux the xfce 4.20 i really hope you like this video and uh, let's see what google is going to do with the android 16 linux terminal because right now uh, it's not able to run on snapdragon due to the requirement of having non-protected vm mode anyway thank you so much stay safe vst over and bye